Hey everybody, so we're on our way to go catch a wrinkles um, at somebody's house. This is the fifth snake we've caught at our house. So we start the video um, when we get there. See they have the white bands and most wrinkles have those white bands and that's how you can identify them. So these snakes will spit for self-defense. Okay, so now that you saw how he spits, let's put, quickly put him in here so that we can secure him out of this house and we can release him in the wild. Come on, dude. These snakes can also play dead, so never ever pick up a dead snake. Spat at me over there again. Whoa. Just hit my visor. It's defending himself properly right, right now. They have a cytotoxic and a neurotoxic venom, so it's a quite a mixed cocktail when you get them. Get them in there. So that we can go and In October 2017, my husband died, and not long after that, I encountered the first snake in my house. Thank God I called Arne and he came and caught it, and it wasn't venomous, is that the word? Then there were three other ones after that, um, also not harmful to me, and tonight um, suddenly there were some wrinkles. But the amazing thing is how God has been preparing me. I've been so extremely busy the last month. I've barely been on Facebook. And yet I've watched two of our nice videos in the last week exactly about the wrinkles. So when I saw it, I knew exactly what it was. And I knew enough to um, get away, try to cover it with a towel, but it didn't work. But I got my child outside. We called our day. They came. I kept an eye on him and I'm very grateful that I've been um, educated to know that snakes can be dangerous but you just need to stay out of their way and then you will be fine and then you call an expert and they deal with the rest. <laughs> 